Dom Dom. It's a Cologne classic. This is the front tap room where all the waiters come to pick up the fresh beer and deliver to their customers at the seating tables or at the standing tables. Okay, so let's get right into it. Here are the Frukolsch tasting notes. Floral, faintly lemony. It's a perfect example of Kolsch's subtle complexities. A beer as thirst quenching as a lager with a milder flavor than other ales, but almost as much complexity. All that is very true, and I'll add that I just love to drink it. That barrel's finished, but no need to worry. There's plenty more barrels downstairs where that one came from. They just put it here on the elevator and send it right up. <laughs> now here's something original, a beer music video on The Brew Show. Short, but good. My personal favorite place to enjoy the Fru Coast beer is right here in the Fru Om Dom front of house bar, just steps from the Cologne Cathedral. But they also have a restaurant, as we've seen, a more upscale restaurant, a brow house, a brow house keller, and an upscale lounge to enjoy, all under the same roof. And just around the corner from here is the Fru Hotel, Hotel Eden. It's got great rooms, and some rooms have a direct view of the cathedral. Kolsch is warm fermented at temperatures around 13 to 21 Celsius or 55 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It's then conditioned by lagering in cold temperatures. This is somewhat unique. But one of the things I really like about the Kolsch culture is this beer carrier. In German it's called a Kranz. Kranz means wreath. It's a wreath of beer. So when in Cologne, enjoy a Stange, or glass of Kolsch. It's one of the great beer recipes of the world. 